Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Aries for March 2010. So Aries, first of all, many of you early Aries, it's going to be your birthday. So happy birthday to you. Now, before we actually get into Aries, which was around the 20th, 21st of the month, this is going to be a time, particularly these first two or three weeks of the month, where I want you to really reflect on the year that you've had. For many of you, you've had a lot of challenges in connection with your career, and many of you, it's been in connection with your relationships. So there's been a bit of each going on for many of you Aries out there. So I'd like you to really reflect on it. Take a little bit of time out from your very busy schedule and think about what it is you're wanting to create for yourself in this year to come. Because it's like you're in the incubation stage at the moment. Many of you are feeling this sense of frustration. When are things going to start moving for Aries? I know many of you, you're so keen to get going and onto something new. And many of you have been feeling quite held back in being able to move forward. And still for the first two or three uh, weeks of this month, many of the planets are in your 12th house. And this is very much a period of reflection. It's also a time in which things from the past, memories from the past, even people from the past, can come back into your life. For some reason, there needs to be a healing, there needs to be a closure. Something needs to complete in your life. So it's a great time for completing things and for also looking at just any loose ends that might need to be tied up so that this frees you in order to start your new birthday year with fresh and revitalized energy. So make sure you do take some time out. You will need that quiet time. Now, after the ninth of the month, from about the 10th of the month, um, Venus is in your first house and there for the rest of the month. So Aries, this is really a time to beautify yourself, to make yourself more attractive, to do something for your physical person. So this could be having a makeover, having your hair done, getting yourself some new clothes, buying something in a different colour that you might normally wear, but just doing something very physical for your own person. This is going to be quite important for you for this month coming because you're starting a whole new phase, which is very exciting. Aries like something new. So this is an exciting time for you. Then after about the 19th of the month, we've got Mercury into your first house as well. So this is a really good time for communicating clearly what it is you're wanting to people. No more beating about the bush, not that you tend to beat about the bush, but this is really about coming out and speaking your mind and saying what's important to you and saying it nice and clearly and straightforwardly. Then after about the 21st of the month, we of course have your son in the first house. So there's going to be quite two distinct flavours to the month for you. The first part of the month is going to be more inward looking for the most part, looking inside and trying to find answers from the inside. Then after that, whoosh, you're going to find your energy moving forward and you're feeling like, yes, I'm up for it and I'm ready for new things. And you're going to be communicating new things. You're also going to be shining out there much more Aries and you're also going to be looking more alert, and more lively. So this is this is quite an exciting month for you, particularly the last couple of couple of the weeks. Um, we've got Saturn as the backdrop in your seventh house of relationship. So for many of you, it's a really important time to take a look at your relationships in your life and to take a look at the balance of power in your relationships and see whether things are balanced or not, or whether you need to make some changes or in fact, whether some of your relationships are maybe past their sell-by date. For those of you in your career with Pluto transiting that 10th house, it's a long transit, so take your time. You may find that you experiment with different options within a career for yourself. Don't worry about that. Allow it to flow along and allow yourself to research other avenues as you go along. Don't allow it to stop you in your tracks through fear and being afraid of actually moving forward. So there you have it, quiet first couple of the weeks and then we're all out there for the final couple of weeks of the month. So there you have it Aries, I wish you a wonderful month. 
For those of you that would like a private reading, you can have a 10 minute, a half hour or an hour's in-depth reading. And there's my website for some more information for those of you that might be interested. So thank you very much for listening and I wish you a great month. Bye for now.